Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing Persistence 2. This is a uh, vehicle persistence script where we can save our vehicles around the map. Uh, now, I have a uh, recent video that I did on vehicle persistence, but that script seems to be outdated and not really working with the latest version of scripthookv.net, all right? So I am going to make a tutorial on this one today. We are going to be installing this today. Um, as I encourage everybody, before you uh, download any script or mod, always read the description that the author has provided. After you're done doing that, what you want to do is come on over to the current where it says 1.3.1 and select the green arrow to download all right and right here in the description they have uh the requirements that we are going to need okay uh we will be installing scripthook v and community scripthook v.net we will not be installing visual um c plus plus or the microsoft.net framework okay so um it's on you to make sure that you have this installed yourself okay but uh for today we will be installing uh scripthook v which um this link right here will be down in the description. And then also we will be installing the community scripthookv.net. Okay, it'll be a version 3.0.2. All right. So once you have these three links downloaded, it should look something like this on my left hand side. I have an empty folder with just those three downloads, which is a uh, persistence to 1.3.1 uh, scripthookv and then scripthookv.net. All right. Then on the right hand side, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up right here. What we are going to need inside our directory is a scripts folder. So make sure that you have a scripts folder. If you don't have one, just go ahead and create a new folder and name it scripts, all low caps. Okay. Once that is done, let's go back over to our downloads and let's start from the bottom up. Let's go ahead and start with scripthookv.net. Open up your scripthookv.net folder. Inside that folder uh, will be two text documents and a couple of files. We are going to take all of these files, all right? We're just going to highlight everything that we see right here. And we're going to take these files I have highlighted, drag and drop these into the Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right, already have it as you can see. All right, now let's go back to our downloads. Let's go to script hook V, all right? Let's open up the script hook V folder. Inside that folder is going to be another folder named Ben. Open up that folder. Inside this folder, we are going to take this file and the last file. So make sure you have these two files I have highlighted. Drag and drop those two files into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. All right, now let's go back to our downloads. All right. Now uh, let's go ahead and open up our scripts folder and um, our Grant that photo file directory. Go ahead and open up your scripts folder. All right, scripts folder is opened up. Let's go back to our downloads. Now let's open up the persistence to 1.3.1 folder. Inside that is going to be another folder that says to your scripts folder. Okay, let's go ahead and open up that folder. And inside that folder is going to be all of the files that we need. So we want to highlight everything that I have highlighted right here. And you want to drag and drop everything into your scripts folder. All right. And that is it, folks. From this point, we can go ahead and minimize any window that we have open right now. And run the game. Now, as soon as you load into the game, you want to get yourself a car. As you can see, I already had a saved game where um, I had a car already out. So I just uh, spawned inside my car. But as soon as you get to a car, it's going to ask you, do you want to save the car? So as soon as you get to a car, you'll be greeted with a message at the top. If you look at the top left, it says uh, press right on the D-pad. If you use the controller, if you're using the keyboard, it'll say press E to lock whatever car that um, you're standing by. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is jump in this car right here and I'm going to go to some other cars that I previously saved using this persistence mod. Alright. And when you save a car, it will be uh, 
saved as a blip on the map, it will be a green car. You know, just like your personal vehicle, your personal vehicle uh, blip, that's what will be on the map. It will be displayed as your personal vehicle. So if we come in this parking lot right here, you see these two little nice little cars. These are cars that are already previously saved with, uh, the, with the persistence mod, all right? As I walk up to this car, as you can look in the top left, it says press right on the D-pad to unlock, all right? Because these has already been saved, all right? So if you're wondering, what if I turn off the game, will it still save? Uh, yeah, it will, all right? As soon as you turn back on the game, your car should still be in the same place it was. Just make sure that you lock the vehicle, all right? You have to lock the vehicle in order for the vehicle to be saved, all right? So we can just go ahead and... Um, to jump in these as a matter of fact let me save this one right here when you save it press right on the d-pad you'll see uh, your character uses little keychain thing to lock the car when you unlock it you'll see the same animation and you'll be able to get in all right so this is the uh, vehicle persistence mod that everybody is pretty much using because this is the only one that's really working um, without you know too many complications all right it also depends on what you have installed so if you got over 50 or 20 scripts installed already then you might have something that might conflict with it all right so if you're having troubles with getting this working um, you might want to take out all the other scripts and then just run this by itself and then add in um, other scripts one by one and each time you add another script run the game to see which is causing the conflict all right but uh, this one is pretty much simple it's easy you know what I mean uh, I haven't had any problems with it so far so uh, yeah this is the one that we are all going to be using for right now all right y'all so um, if this helped y'all out to install it or if y'all just enjoyed the video and found this useful smash that like button for your boy Definitely uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5, y'all. This is uh, Games Graphics being big, bold, and ass Frank. We are out of here until next time, y'all. I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.